Imagine this. You're in your favorite bookstore, scanning the shelves, and you get to this section where your where favorite author's books reside, and there, nestled comfortably between the incredibly familiar spine, sits a red notebook. What do you do? The choice, I think, is obvious. You take down the red notebook, and you open it. And then you do whatever it tells you to do. I am the supplier, and today's Book Talk Tuesday is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by David Levithan and Rachel Cohn. Dash is alone this Christmas because he told his mother he was staying with his father, and he told his father he was staying with his mother, and his mother and father don't actually talk to each other. So they plan separate vacations for themselves and their significant others without Dash, which is exactly what he wanted. Lily's parents decided to take their honeymoon after 25 years, leaving Lily and her brother Langston home by themselves. In order to keep Lily out of his hair, Langston came up with the idea of this notebook, wherein she writes clues for someone to follow. Dash found the notebook and follows the clues. Dash and Lily write these instructions back and forth to each other in order to kind of get to know each other, uh, but at the same time, you know, keeping their distance. It's really interesting because it's set during Christmas time and Dash and Lily have, well, let's say polar opposite ideas about what the Christmas season is. The dares mentioned in the, in the title are not usually what I think of when I think of dares so much as they are challenges nestled in riddles. I was trying to decide if Dash and Lily were a little Dawson's Creek with their language. Um, it's a little more lofty than I think maybe it usually is for teenagers, but then they're readers, so maybe that's not too unrealistic. <sighs> this week's question. If you found a notebook in your favorite section of the bookstore and you knew it didn't belong there, would you have done what Dash did? Read it and followed the instructions? Leave your thoughts on this question, comments about books or reading in general, or suggestions for feature shelf editions in the comments here on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. And you can find all of that information on the end screen and in the description below. And if you're looking for a good romantic novel that's kind of like You've Got Mail meets two erudite teenagers with a penchant for riddles, check out Dash and Millie's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. That's it for Book Talk Tuesday this week. I am the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome.